Right, this week we have Citroen Berlingo. Now, one main problem with the Berlingo we'll find is not at eye level. We need to look up on the roof where we've got the anchorages for the roof bars. These will rust and can also cause water ingress into the van. Look for that. The second thing, because we've got a dead flat panelled van, look down the side of that van. Look down the side, make sure there's no ripples, no damage. They can take severe damage on those panels. Now, under the bonnet, what have we got? A very economical, lively little engine, 1.8. We will return out of this, round about the top end of the 40s, around town, 42, that's not bad, but we have one Achilles heel we need to look for under this bonnet. The engine will suffer bad oil leaks on the front lower oil seal. This will leak onto the cam belt, the cam belt will deteriorate, and we can end up with a damaged engine, i.e. cylinder head and valves. This can happen even at 20,000 miles. Get it checked. The second thing under the bonnet is corrosion. It will suffer under here, and we can already see on this model, even though it's on an R plate, very bad corrosion setting in under these wheels. And on this side as well, the seams heavily rusted. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you have something done about it. It can be very expensive. Now, to the interior. On the interior of the vehicle, again, we suffer a car-derived van, which they've put no thought again into luggage or any other sort of equipment put in the front for the driver. No spaces for documentation or anything. But the one thing they have put in the van is a keypad. And this keypad is an alarm. You can isolate the vehicle, punch in your own key number, and away you go. Now, they stopped putting that in after 98, but it's a good attribute. If you're looking for one of these, look for one with the keypad on. Let's have a look in the back. What have we got? Now, you'll notice a bit of difference on this van. We've got glass in the back. Can be an attribute. Can cost you more on insurance. Certainly check with your insurance company. Good, solid door restraints. And this time you can see in the back exactly what you can do. You don't need just a flat floor. You can actually build the floor up. You can make better storage area. But the problem you're going to have if you're not careful, there's no load restraints. And the stuff you put in the back here will end up on the passenger seat if you stop quickly. If you have anything built in like this, make sure there's load restraints. There aren't any on there. Can be dangerous. Good solid doors, good solid fitment. The vehicle itself, is a good solid van. You can fit tow bars on. You can tow on the back end of this about 750 kilos. Right, and what have we got with this nice little package now? It comes in 700 and 800 kilo carrying capacity. The 1998 version will come with the keypad for the immobilization. Now, after that, they didn't fit it for some reason. A good price, £3,000. But remember, all commercial vehicles carry 17% VAT on top of that. For £3,000, good price for that van.